Hi paper lovers, it's Sarah and I've got another Christmas card today. And once again I'm going to be using a 4x5.5 pre-made card from Michaels. And once again I'm going to be using that adorable sh uh, sugar plum. Yeah, let me show it to you in case you missed my last one. The sugar plum paper by Recollections. So cute. It's by far my all-time favorite Christmas deck ever. So this really cute paper with the gingerbread and the peppermint and the candy cane. This is cut at four by five and a half. And then I have this little piece of red plaid, and it's uh, let's see, one and a half inches by five and a half. And that's gonna go down at the bottom. The reason I did that is because when you rip out the cardstock, it leaves kind of just a tiny little bit of an edge where you rip it out. And so I'm going to put something on top of that. That's why I put it at the top. And then this is, oh my gosh, I love this paper. It's a brown polka dotted. And this is about, it was about three quarters of an inch before I ran it through my scalloped, scalloped border punch. I'm going to be so sad when this paper stack is gone. I can see me using the entire thing. Oh, my husband just sneezed. That didn't quite get straight. Let me see if I can straighten that out a little bit. There we go. Okay, so that goes there. Then I'm going to be using some Christmas twine. I love this twine so much. It's red, white, and green. And you can purchase this on the Scrappy Moms blog. I'll put a link down at the bottom to their products. And they get their twine from the twinery. And they sell it in smaller amounts so that you don't have to buy a huge spool of it if you don't want. So I'm going oh, to tape that on the back. And then I'm just going to run it around my brown strip twice okay, tape that on the back and then I'm going to go ahead and hear this down to my card okay, sorry about the squeak I don't know once in a while my gun squeaks. Okay, so this is just going to go down on my card base. Okay. Now I'm going to take a scallop that I've cut from Winter Woodland. And this is found on page 32 of the handbook. And I cut it at 2.45. I did the scallop part in red and then the circle part in a, like a light cream color to match the cream in the background of this paper. And I took a sentiment from the Scrappy Mom set, A Holiday to Remember. It says Cookies for Santa. And I just curved it on my block so that it would follow the circle on the scallop. And then I have my little gingerbread man and he is from the Just Because Cards cartridge. He's found on page 58 and I cut him at 4.25. And I hid the eyes in my gypsy because I didn't want the eyes to cut out. I wanted to color them in myself. I just used my black pen and then I did a little white dot with my white gel pen just to mimic the eyes um, in the gingerbread in the paper. I tried to make them look as much like the gingerbread in the paper. Um, there is a gingerbread man that has a green scarf on. This particular cut of the paper doesn't show him, but he's really stinking cute. So I wanted to make him a little scarf. So I have some Peapod Baker's Twine. And I'm just going to wrap this around my little gingerbread man, just so I know about how much to use. Get this out of the way. Okay, and then I just tied it around his neck, kind of off to the side a little bit. And then to get it to stay down, 
took a little drop of my Scotch Quick Dry, just a tiny little drop, just to hold the little scarf down. And just, oops, I don't want to flip you off. There we go. <laughs> Switch fingers there. I had somebody ask me how I keep my scotch from clogging. I don't know any tips or tricks other than as soon as I'm finished with it, I get this cap back on. Because I've heard a lot of people say, make sure you put your cap back on when you're finished with it because it clogs very easily. That's the only thing I do and I've never had a problem. I never leave it uncovered. Okay, then I took my little paper piercer and just kind of fridged the ends of the twine just a little bit just to, you know, make it look even more like a scarf, the end of a scarf. Just a little fun touch. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and stick my gingerbread man off to the side a little bit of my scallop. And I'm just going to put adhesive on the one side of him because he's going to be hanging off the scallop. down really good where the scarf is. Okay, now we're going to attach this to the top of our card right here using some foam squares. Okay, so that's going to go just right here at the top. And then I have one more thing. I'm going to take some more of that Christmas twine And take about that, maybe a little bit more. And I'm just going to grab three strands of it, like this. And then cut it here, and then cut the little loop. And then on the other side, cut the little loop. So that gives me three strands, roughly all the same size. And then I'm going to try to attempt O. With twine, I usually don't have trouble tying a bow. Ribbon, forget about it. I had to spend like a whole day just practicing how to tie ribbon. Now that I said that, I'm having a major problem with my bow. Okay, and let me grab my scotch again. And I'm just going to put a little drop here. Oh, do I like that side better? No. A little drop on the back. And my little bow is going to go right there. Oh, I did want to do one more thing. I'm going to grab my Christmas red stickles. And I just want to add some stickles to his little gumdrop buttons. The other thing, too, I do with my stickles is I always wipe them when I finish. I always cap them, and I keep them stored upside down. I stick um, Velcro squares or circles that I get at Michael's, and I have a shelf that I've stuck the other part to so that when, you know, you just stick it up and it hangs upside down. So they're hardly ever clogged. They're always ready to go. Okay, so that's our card for today. Look at the little gingerbread man with the scarf. He's so cute. Alright, thanks everybody for watching and have a blessed day.